Hi guys, it's me Egypt and I'm back with another video. Today we're going thrifting but a little bit different because I'm back in my hometown and I'm gonna go thrifting in Miami which is gonna be so interesting because I've never ever 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 been to any other Goodwill bins location except for the one that I usually go to and the one time that I visited one while I was in New York. So it's gonna be interesting. I hope I find some really really quality stuff. Like I think this time I'm more so focusing on brands than the actual items because you know some things are cute but i i kind of want to invest in more i just want to find more brands you know so yeah also as you guys see i look a little bit different today because my hair is laid and slayed by my mom's but also the hair is provided by domi so hair so if you guys are interested in this hair i will leave all the links down below it's a 24 inch deep wave four by four closure wig but obviously it's not giving closure it's definitely giving frontal because of the way that my mom laid it she even added some braids in there for me like it's super cute and as you guys can see the curls are curling the hair is giving the curls are really curling that's all i have to say like and this is the hair dry dry i'm not even this is no cap this is the hair dry all i had to do was put mousse and water and just let it dry without touching it and this is how it dried if you are familiar with curly hair you know that sometimes when it dries it gets poofy or you feel like you have to bring a spray bottle with you everywhere because the hair just dries poofy and not curly but this one doesn't do that the hair is also soft but if you want more volume i would say you would probably have to add some tracks in there obviously you can see that it's not very voluminous it's more of like a natural kind of curl and the lace came like kind of plucked I didn't do any plucking or anything but I my mom did add some foundation to the cap because the lace is kind of light and she did add some foundation that my color into my part because the lace is kind of light so be aware of that also the knots aren't bleached if you're if you like bleaching knots then you can do that I personally don't do that because I'm just not a wig expert so I don't want to bleach knots and then my whole entire closure falls out you know so yeah I didn't do anything extra except for my mom putting it on laying my baby hairs and that's it so this is basically how the wig came out of the pack just you know finessed a little bit but yeah obviously I look good you could look good too if you shop with Domi so hair thank you guys for watching all right that's enough about my hair let's go thrifting hey guys so if you've been keeping up with my thrift with me's you know that i'm trying to figure out my style trying to come into a new style this footage is from when i went to the goodwill bins in miami it was an absolute anxiety of an experience that didn't make any sense but you get it like it was crazy the people there were crazy and muy agresivo okay so i didn't really do and record how i usually record at my usual spot because it just just it that wasn't even possible but thankfully I found this Fendi bucket hat which is it made up for my trip so I don't know if it's real but it has like all the Fendi tags the Fendi monogram it is a little bit beat up on the inside but that's nothing a little sewing can't fix up watching this footage back I wish I got these silky pants but I didn't because um, the inseam was very high I got this cool hat, I, I love the details on it, and it said Jamaica, and I'm Jamaican, so I just bought it. And I don't think I bought anything else that was in this cart. I did end up finding like some true religion pants towards the end, but y it won't be in this cart, so yeah. Short footage at the Goodwill bins, which is not usual, but like I said, <laughs> y'all, it was crazy, and I'm about to talk about it right now. It's crazy people. Uh, this lady was literally throwing clothes at me and like waving in my face and just being so rude, bro. And I just completely ignored her. So I'm annoyed. And I'm not trying to argue with no old lady. Like, I just like arguing with the old lady over some clothes, bro. Like, you would think, like, if something's older. You would think if someone's older, they wouldn't fight. Because the dumb stuff that comes, but some people really don't have no sense. Honestly, 
honestly, I don't think I'm about to leave because this just ain't it and I'm already annoyed. And that lady just, she had me really messed up. They're switching out another roll of bands, so I might wait just so I can just look. But you don't even have a chance to look here because they literally run to the bins and grab everything. So, I'm not in the mood for this experience. So I might just go to the regular Goodwill store that's right next to it and have a peaceful shopping experience. This just ain't it. So I don't know if every Goodwill bin is set up like this, but the one that I went to in Miami had a Goodwill store like right next door to it. And the one that I go to in my college town is set up the same way. So I just went over to the store. They had a bunch of stuff there. There was this one top that I'm gonna show you guys that I found in this trip. And when I went to the dressing room, it just wasn't with me. I don't know if I dropped it somewhere, put it somewhere and forgot about it, but I was kind of upset that I couldn't find it when I went to the dressing room because it was so cute and honestly, I really wanted the shirt. Even if it didn't fit, I was willing to alter it. Ooh, this is cute. It was probably wasn't my size and that's why I probably scrolled past it. But this is the skirt section. Uh, I love mini skirts, so I try to go through the skirts. I tend to skip over colors because I don't really wear colors. So I'll spend more time in like the neutral tones than I will in like blues and stuff. Bro, I'm seeing a lot of cute skirts. I'm wondering why I scrolled past them. Maybe because the length or something? But a lot of those skirts were cute. Or maybe the size, I don't know. And I also was still kind of a annoyed from going to the bins so I, I really just wanted to go home honestly I wasn't really in a thrifting mood and for me I'm always in a thrifting mood so you can imagine how annoyed that experience at the Goodwill bins got me because the footage isn't that great very low effort very quick you know I'm surprised I was even able to put together enough footage to get a video They had like a bunch of these American Apparel disco pants, like a bunch. These are all the same pair of pants. I don't know if they were all the same size, but they were literally all the same American Apparel pants and I did get one. And then I went to the tank top section. Didn't really find much here. I did find like a kind of like floral corset, which was cute. You'll see it when I try it on in the dressing room later in the video. And I think the clip with the shirt that I was talking about is coming up soon. That reminds me of something that I have from Pretty Little Thing. They had a bunch of stuff here, guys. I just wasn't in the mood. Like, I really wasn't. Because I would have been, like, you know, more digging. You know, digging a little bit more through the sections. But I just wasn't having the best time. Ooh, that's actually so pretty oh my gosh what is, what was wrong with me this day I'm so upset watching this footage back oh my gosh especially because it's in Miami and I'm I, I'm literally six hours away driving so yeah oh here it is oh my gosh it's so cute bro I'm so mad I lost it I don't even know what happened to it I 
I went to the dressing room and it just wasn't with me anymore. Kind of upset about that. That's pretty cool. I should have got that. Like, I don't know what was going through my brain, honestly. Just obviously wasn't good stuff. I just wasn't in the right state of mind at all because I would have picked up these things. Like, even that, I would have picked it up and I didn't because I was going through it mentally. Now I know that when I go thrifting, I need to be in the right state of mind because it really messed up my whole entire trip. I could have had so many cute things if I wasn't so annoyed. And I also shouldn't let people annoy me like this to where I can't even think straight about what kind of clothes I should get at the thrift store. They're like, that's actually cute. I'm not even gonna lie. I should have got that too. But yeah, I think I just need to learn how to not let things get to me in this way because I'm very annoyed watching this footage back because there are so many cute things that I just skipped past. But I did get this and I did get the disco pants. So I was kind of sane in some aspects of this trip. Oh my gosh, look at the body. Look at the body. That's honestly why I got the pants. Cause I don't really like skinny pants, but <laughs> But the way it was making my booty look, I had to get it. Like, it was like some type of sorcery or magic that they put in these pants. Cause I swear my, my booty don't look that fat for real, but it looked fat in those pants. And I was excited about that. I was gonna get this like little mesh skirt, but it was like way too big and high-waisted. And I'm not really feeling high-waisted these days in a lot of things, unless like super mini. But yeah, it was just kind of long on me. It didn't really do anything for my body. Like it just looked big in my opinion, but I did like that little mesh overlay. That detail was cool. And I also had a rip in it. So I'm kind of glad I caught that too. And then I found these like cargo pants. I I literally have pants that look exactly like this from Yes Style, and that's the only reason why I didn't get them. And that's literally the end of the trip, guys. I'm so sorry. This was so underwhelming, but hopefully the next video is better and I find more stuff. I'm going to be doing an outfit video. If everything goes as planned, I'm going to be dropping a winter outfit video on February 4th, so stay tuned for that. Bye, guys.